Hello, I'm Johnny Chisholm, Area Resource Conservationist for Planning in Harrison, Arkansas. In this session, I'm going to demonstrate how to use IET to run an evaluation for a benchmark and alternative system. The integrated erosion tool can be used for conservation planning instead of running Russell 2 and WIPs outside of Toolkit. Users can search for and select management templates to build a rotation for the IET. After selecting a template, the template parameters can be adjusted as needed. In the following session, for the benchmark condition resource concerns will be evaluated for a field that is cropped under a one-year corn with fall tillage and a one-year soybean with fall tillage rotation. So if necessary, open the customer folder that you need to use, click the customer file tab and select the ArcGIS projects folder, and then double click on the map template to open the file in ArcMap. On the toolkit toolbar, click the create open manage plans button. Click the radio button for ex select existing plan and select the plan that you need to work with. Then click OK. The plan will be loaded. Now we're going to change the view and change to the plan view. And we're going to uncheck all layers except the NAEP imagery and the plan layer itself. Then we're going to use the zoom tool to zoom to our cropland fields. In the ArcMap table of contents, right click on your plan layer, click selection, and make this the only selectable layer. In IET, you should select all fields that have a similar management. Selecting multiple fields allows you to copy information from one field to the other fields and streamlines data entry. So on the Tools toolbar, we're going to click the Select tool, and we're going to click our first cropland field, and hold down the Shift, and we've got actually three cropland fields here, so we have all of them selected. Then we're going to click the IET button. And we're going to create a new layer. And in this case, we're going to save the layer in the resource maps folder for the customer file. If the customer file that you're not currently working on is defaulted here, make sure you change it to the resource maps on the current customer folder. Then we're going to enter a name for the layer. In this case, I'm doing a calculation on cropland, so I'm going to name this cropland erosion and click create. You can resize the, the layout of IET. In this case I'm going to make my table of contents a little smaller and make my IET window a little smaller. Then I'm going to click on the cropland erosion to make sure it's the only one selected. Right click on it and hit zoom to layer. That way the, the layer that I'm using will actually display in my window.